Hi, I'm Charlie White, and today I'm going to show you how to put up a picture. Okay, so let's have a look at today's toolkit. I'm going to be showing you how to put pictures up on two different sorts of wall. A brick wall on one hand, and a plasterboard wall on the other. Now for the brick wall, we're going to be drilling into the wall, and for that we'll need wall fixings, and screws, and to drill into the wall itself, an electric drill with a drill bit on the end. Now, for the plasterboard walls, we've got some picture hooks with nails that we can just tap into the walls. Okay, so first up we're going to put a picture up on a solid brick wall. Give it a tap, and if it's not sounding hollow, you know you've got some sort of solid brickwork behind your plaster. So, we've got our picture with a string on the back, and in this case I want the picture to go in the centre of the wall. So first thing we need to do is take our tape measure and we measure the width of the wall, that's 150 centimetres, half of 150 is 75, 75 centimetres, we mark a line on the wall, 75 centimetres across. To get the height right, look at the back of your picture, see where the string comes to when you put weight on it and measure from the top of the picture down to that point. That's eight centimetres. Get the picture to a height that you're happy with on the wall and mark a pencil line just above the frame. Here's our pencil line. Eight centimetres down from that pencil line is here. That's the mark I made earlier on to show 75 centimetres across the wall, so that is the point we're going to drill. Because we're drilling into brick, I'm going to use a masonry drill bit and I'm going to put my drill on hammer action. If you've got that, put it on because it makes the job much easier. The wall plug I've got, it requires a 7mm drill bit. Now I know that because if you line up the drill bit against the wall plug, they want to more or less be the same width. Now stop, before you nail or drill into your wall there are a couple of really important things you need to check. Light switches. In a house that's built relatively recently, the cable from a light switch will typically go directly vertically up from the light switch. So if you're putting your picture anywhere in this zone, you want to be really careful. The same goes for electrical sockets where the wiring will go directly down below the socket or directly above the socket up the wall. If your picture is going to be directly in line with a light switch or an electrical socket, there are two things you can do. Either move the drilling line out of the line of the socket itself, and or, if you're still not sure, there are a lot of reasonably priced wall detectors on the market that are designed to detect electrical cable or pipes, which will give you that extra peace of mind before you nail or drill into your wall. Right, bit of a tip. Take dustpan to catch all the debris that comes out of the wall. You can use a hoover but I find dustpans a really lightweight, easy way to do this. And off we go. Holes drilled. Insert your wall plug into the wall and lightly tap it into place with a hammer. And then take your screw and screw it into the wall, leaving about a centimetre, 10 millimetres, to give you enough room to hang the string over it. Then take your picture, put your finger underneath the string, feel for the screw, and then drop the string down onto the screw, and then just move the picture around on the wall until it's level. Now, whenever I'm putting up pictures into a brick wall, I always use um, a drill and put a wall plug in and a screw, just because I think I get a bit of fixing. But don't worry if you haven't got an electric drill. You could try something like this, masonry nails. Um, they come in smaller bags than this. Um, you can pick it up for a few quid in, the, in your local DIY store. I say you could try it because if you're lucky, and now like this, we'll go straight into the wall. Let's just try with this one as an example. 
Okay, it's gone in okay to start with. Okay, now that has actually worked. You can see there's a little bit of puckering um, in the plaster work below the hole. Now, if you're lucky, that will be fine and you'll get a good fixing point for your, for your um, picture. If you're unlucky, it'll take away a little area of the wall underneath. Or if your cement render behind the plaster work is a little bit loose, it'll crumble and the nail won't fix in properly. But if that's the case, then brilliant. Now the downside of nailing into a wall with a normal picture hook nail is that the nail can bend. It goes in fine to start with, but as it hits the harder substrata, it bends over like that. Now, you're not gonna be able to get any picture of any decent weight into this wall because it's just gonna fall out. So here I am in the slightly cramped confines of my loop and I'm gonna show you how to put a picture up on a plasterboard wall. Now you saw me tapping it there. If a wall sounds hollow, that tends to mean it's plasterboard or stud, a stud wall or dry line wall. Now it's much easier to put picture hooks up into a plasterboard wall. Again, a couple of kits you can get on the market. Actually, this is quite a good kit because it's got everything you need pretty much. It's got the little eyelets that you can screw into the side of the picture. Um, it's got the picture framing wire and then it's got these little picture frame hooks. The other sort of kit you can get is this sort of thing which comes with a double nailed hook. Better for sort of slightly heavier pictures. To be honest with you, I never put a really heavy picture up on a wall using one of these. I tend to always go with the screw and wall plug option. As with a brick wall, before you nail your picture hooks into the wall, please make sure there aren't any light switches or electrical sockets immediately above or below where you're drilling. So I'm going to use a double hook. Same principle as before, I've measured the width of the wall, marked the midpoint because that's where I want the picture in this case. So we've got our hip picture hook in place. Press the first nail a little bit into the wall and tap it into place like so. Same with the second one. Insert the nail and tap it into place. Now, as before, it's just a case of holding the string on the back of the picture with one finger and just hanging it on the wall. So I really hope you found this video useful. Please let me know if you've got any queries or comments because I'd love to hear from you. And also, please subscribe to my channel for access to all my other DIY videos. Spirit level, thank you.